Hello. How's it going? So I wanted to jump on and talk to you about something that I was covering this morning in um, a little class I do. It's like a mastermind with other colleagues in the um, area of dating and relationships. And we were talking about um, kind of really just voicing our frustration with um, people who throw at you um, the the belief that there's just no good men out there, um, you know, or there aren't any men at all. Like that's just like limited supply. And we were like, Oh, it's such a, like a, a limiting belief. And once you start thinking that you go out and you make sure you're not going to prove, you always are going to prove yourself right. Um, so you go out and you find ways to validate that thought. And then you are constantly frustrated because, sorry, my earphone fell out. Um, then you're constantly frustrated because there's no men to date, but you don't realize you're creating that reality because you're thinking that. And so you're really tied to that. We always really prove ourselves right. Like we are very ego driven. So when we're tied to a certain belief, then we're going to go out and find ways to make sure that that belief holds true. So if that is something you often hear yourself say, or you're around a lot of girlfriends who say that, there's just no good guys to date. Um, all the good guys are taken. Every other guy, every guy on the market now is just somebody's leftovers. I mean, the list goes on and on. So if that's something you've bought into, I invite you to reconsider. And um, you don't have to, I'm not here to convince you, but it's a much better way to go about life, to believe that there are wonderful opportunities out there, wonderful men to date. There are wonderful um, men to meet, even if it's not you know, love at first sight or love at all, it could be his best friend is. It's always an opportunity to meet people, expand your circle. Um, we were just talking about how it's so great when women actually sort of shift this mindset and shift the belief and really see that dating, it can be a discovery and a learning process, not only about meeting new men and what's out there and start proving that, proving to themselves really that there are good options out there. They may not be just for them, but, um, there are good options out there and to know that they're learning about themselves and learning what they want. So we were sort of, I was, I kind of was like, you know, here's how I see it is if I really wanted, you know, a big corporate job in the corner office, whatever, like this, you know, like the bomb diggity rock star um, corporate level, I don't even know what it is. So I'm not corporate, but um, if I wanted that, I wouldn't just walk in and say, I want, you know, the top job here. I would work my way up the ladder at that corporation. I would, I would know that it's a process. And for some reason, um, people don't see that getting to that ultimate relationship that is fulfilling to both people is the exact same process. You can't just put dating on hold or building relationships. Even if you're not ready for like a long-term committed relationship, um, if you know you have some conditions that just aren't right yet, um, I challenge that too. But if you do, or if you think that you do, you still will learn and benefit from getting out and practicing and meet practicing meeting people practicing socializing practicing um meeting people and seeing learning more about yourself and learning more about what you want and what you don't want so it's sort of like um it's a process it's like it's sort of like a parallel or a metaphor like if you could look at it as i think sometimes um so if you could look at it as a metaphor or parallel to um, date, you know, finding the relationship you want, falling in love, being madly in love, true, true love, as having your ultimate, ultimate job or ultimate, ultimate position in a corporation or whatever it would be. But it's like, there's a process to that. And love is no different. I think sometimes women are blinded by this myth that um, true love is just supposed to happen to us. And if we have to put any type of an effort or intention in it, then um, it's, 
I don't even know what, what people would say, but I'm trying to think of what I've heard, but just people don't see that. I think um, they think it's something that they, you know, when they were young, um, the fairy tales and the myths were all, you know, their Prince Charming is going to come up on a white horse and save you. Just go kiss a lot of frogs and then he'll turn into Prince Charming. And um, the funny thing is, um, I think every one of those fairy tales or fables were written by a man. Um, and that just doesn't happen. And I, Thank God it doesn't happen because we're here to learn about who we are and what we want and be intentional about who we meet and ha do what I teach in my course is more like mindful dating and getting out there and really putting you first, getting to know you, getting to know what you want, and then going out and finding it and knowing that it's fun and knowing that it can be fun. It doesn't have to be um, miserable and, um, you know, ghosting and all of that. It can be fun. It's all in the energy you put into it and the intention you put into it. And first you have to decide. So I just thought it was a really interesting conversation that we all were noticing is happening is it's sort of like um, if your child or something wanted to make the soccer team or something yet, or, you know, make the A soccer team. And they just never would go even dribble the ball or kick the ball in the yard. They just wanted to show up and it, it to happen because that's what they wanted. Is that light? Like that just doesn't work. Um, one of my greatest friends and some of you know, know her on here um, has a favorite, one of her favorite quotes is you don't get better at something by doing it less. And so meeting people, dating, relationships, with men and women, you know, if it's friendships, any type of a relationship, you're not going to get better at it if you're isolating and you're staying home and you're avoiding. Um, it doesn't mean you have to go out and be looking for Mr. Right, Mr. Forever. It just means you're out meeting people and you're, and then it also doesn't mean the opposite of where you're out just like going out and sleeping around. Um, it could, there is a balance and there's mindful dating and there is the in-between and the process of really learning about what you want by learning more about other people and learning more about um, the way you interact and where you are in life and what you want out of life. So I hope that that makes sense and you hear it from the place of you're not alone if you think that because a lot of people do when they're middle-aged and they think, oh my gosh, I, I have to jump into either jump into a marriage or, you know, something committed or nothing. Like I'm either going to be like no breaks, full speed ahead, or I'm going to stay home and, um, and sweats every night. And there is a balance. There is somewhere in between to where you can be making progress towards something, towards a goal you want, but um, knowing that it's a process and that it takes steps and you're not going to get better at it if you're going to do it less. Um, the other thing that we were sort of commenting on that we hear a lot um, is like I already kind of said it and I'm sure you've said it and the friends have said it is just that there's just no good men left or um, all the men out there are like leftovers or damaged goods. Um, and one of the <laughs> more humorous, funny, um, my colleagues that's just always leaves me like almost peeing my pants. Um, she's so funny, but she said, you know, it's not, it's like, some people think that men are like real estate. Like it's sort of like, oh, it's a good, um, it's a good market for men these days. Like they, they come in, you know, it's sort of like, oh, there's a recession, like not as many men. It's like, these are humans, this is human beings. There's, I mean, look at the divorce rate. There are new men coming on the market every second, every minute. Um, so it's regenerating. It's definitely um, an unlimited amount out there. And especially if you're open, you know, open to different geographies or ge geographic places, there's just so many opportunities to meet people. And in this day and age, there's even more than there ever was before with online, even if online's not your thing, there are more ways to travel. There are more ways to connect with other human beings. And it's such a great time to be out there searching for what you want. So um, I would invite you to just consider this if you don't want to and you want to believe that it's impossible and not for you, then you know what, that is your spot on this journey and I totally honor it. But if not, 
um, and you are looking for a little bit of more of a push or more of hope, knowing that, yes, you can. Because sometimes all it takes is somebody to show you the way and to let you know that there is, there is a process to this. There is a system that you can follow that is proven, that is guaranteed to help you find it. Um, then definitely like book a call with me or try to find something in your community. Um, just get, even, even if you're maybe, um, thinking this, but now you're like, Hmm, get online, get, start a profile on a platform that I recommend though. <laughs> Don't just start a, a, a profile on like Tinder or anything, or you'll be like, ah! um, text me or message me and I'll give you some suggestions depending upon where you live. But um, just start somewhere. Start wherever you are, start somewhere because it's out there. And if you feel like the, the fear that's been holding you back is that it's not out there, please hear me say it is out there. Um, I know it is out there. I believe so much that I, there is somebody for everyone and your person is out there. So um, definitely take this to heart and know that you're not alone if you're thinking that because it can be a little bit scary, but it doesn't have to be. So that's really about it. I hope if you have any questions, you will like private message me or book schedule your free call. Free calls are awesome. And, um, and I know you all know, I do have a six month program to help women with this kind of handhold and help you through the process and really help you get straight on what you want. So if that's something that would, you know, really benefit you, or if I think you're a fit, if you think I'm a fit, we'll talk about that. But the phone call is not just for that. The phone call is so much more than that. Um, and I know there's a lot of women in here who have done it and it's really even just the one phone call has shifted so many things. So it's great. Um, so I hope so far 2019 is going well for you. Um, I'm still writing 2018 on everything I do. <laughs> So I'm not quite in the habit and now January is almost over. But um, I hope it's going well. And I do hope that you will consider this because I just want um, you to know that there is somebody out there, even if it's, you know, somebody just to go to the movies with or, you know, just a guy to get dating advice from, you know, banter it back and forth. If it's not romantic, it could just be a friendship. Um, you don't have to put sex into everything and then just say, you know, all or nothing. Um, there are just so many different levels to connect with, um, with people. And that's why we're here. If, if we are not here to be stuck at home and isolate and um, think that it's not meant for us. It is meant for everyone. So that's my little soapbox. Um, I just kind of wanted to jump on because it was so stirred up at me. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. And I hope you're... Um, I hope you will reach out if, if it's calling to you because I know that you could make this the year that you meet somebody or get whatever you want in love. So thank you. And we will talk really soon. Oops, sorry. I shook the camera. But thank you so much. And um, we'll all be around. See ya. Bye-bye.